we are going to discuss three trends in the vitamin packaging industry. Trend number one is as simple as possible. This means that vitamin packaging is simplifying their messages clearly and boldly. This trend has emerged due to vitamin packaging designers realizing the value of simple messages in a crowded market. Let's look at some examples. Through our primary research, we noticed that Shoppers Drug Mart's Life brand clearly and boldly states their logo, along with the type of vitamin. Now, through secondary research, we found numerous vitamin brands using the same minimalistic and aesthetically pleasing tactics. Trend number two is designed for convenience. This includes resealable lids, after-use storage containers, easy opening, portability and durability, and portion packs such as a two-week or month supply. Trend number three is environmentally sustainable substrates and materials. There is a push for fast-moving consumer goods to progress towards a circular economy where packages are fully recyclable. This includes 100% recycled PET bottles, labels made from renewable plant resources, or not using adhesives. This also includes stand-up pouches or other forms of flexible packaging. Some styles are made up to 15% less material than most other vitamin and supplement packaging. Moving on to the technologies that are used to package vitamins. The technology and machinery that enables the cap to be sealed onto the bottle is called the induction cap sealing system. The most well-known one is Enerco and Super Seal. This seals the smallest cap closest to the largest one, which could be 120 millimeters wide. This is great for long and short runs for various needs of a production job. The second technology are functional additives. By using this technology, a girder protects the vitamins inside and helps seals in the freshness. Functional additives modifies the property of a package to impart desirable or beneficial functions. Oxygen scavenger is an additive which absorbs and removes oxygen left in the plastic. It is inexpensive and there is little to no risk for organisms falling inside. Another additive is UV stabilizers. This additive prevents the molecules from breaking down the nutrient bonds which would release harmful molecules. It also protects the vitamins from negative effects of radiation. Moving on to the systems and technologies that adhere the label onto the substrate. Flexography is a great method that allows the label to be printed on the bottle, which is a process used across the food packaging industry. The benefits of flexographic printing are, long print runs can be printed with special finishes such as metallic inks and foils, and it dries fast. The main drawback is that it is expensive, considering the cost of plates are high and you need one plate for each color you decide to use for your label. The second label printing technology is digital press, also known as digital printing, electromagnetic, and Xerox. Digital press is a printing technology that uses toner instead of ink to digitally transfer the file from the computer directly to the printer. This printing process is great for short runs, produces rich and vibrant colors, and is cheaper. However, the labels printer are not durable. This can be solved by laminating the label, but that would be extra cost and therefore increase production costs. Vitamin bottles have many elements that make up its physical bottle. Plastic is one of the main substrates used to construct the bottle. High density polyethylene is the most conventional type of plastic bottle used for vitamins. Each bottle has a white rim lined screw cap that allows for easy opening and closing of the bottle. Another type of plastic is polyethylene terephthalate, which is similar, however the difference is that the plastic is transparent which allows the consumer to view the contents inside. Furthermore, aluminum foil is a material inside and or outside of the bottle that is mounted onto the mouth of the bottle and sealed using induction heating. The label substrates are distinctly different from the bottle substrate. Polypropylene labels are made up of thermoplastic substrates. The color is transferred onto the label using an extreme heating process. Accessibility and legal requirements. Our vitamins are approved by Health Canada's Natural Health Products Regulations. The vitamins have a product license, specific labeling requirements, and have a site license ensuring safe, effective, and high quality products. A product license is obtained by submission of a PLA. This includes information such as ingredients, dose, recommended uses, and evidence supporting its use. An 8-digit natural product number is established on the label. The vitamins can be found in the Natural Health Products database. Labeling requirements. This includes product name, dose, ingredients, recommended use, route of administration, cautions, risks, and product license number. Our vitamins are from Canadian sites approved with a site license. This is required for manufacturers, packagers, labelers, and importers, allowing them to operate following the Good Manufacturing Practices Guidance document. 
These are standards for activities such as equipment, personnel, sanitation programs, sterile NHPs, batch samples, and quality assurance. Without the research from dedicated companies, the efficient packaging solutions available for pharmaceuticals today would not be possible. One major innovator for vitamin packaging is the packaging consulting company called Trichobron. They hold focus groups for pharmaceutical and nutraceutical packaging that determines the functionality and visual appeal of the packaging, various forms of portability, and the appeal of child-resistant closures. Some examples of innovations include instant knockout and in-wall desiccant technologies. The instant knockout is created for a company who sells male supplements for fat burning. Through the clear plastic bottle molded into a fist, Trichobron is able to make a packaging solution that expresses the message of fighting fat and shows off the bright red pills. The in-wall desiccant technologies have layers of calcium oxide in the bottle, which protects the tablets from moisture and eliminates the need for sachets. Thus, we could see that Trichobron is innovated through their research of making packaging more engaging, their understanding of consumer needs and wants, and their ability to enhance packaging for every customer. Klockner Plentapass is a major supplier of pharmaceuticals and packaging. They created the LiquiGuard, which is a blister film with the ability to hold hot and cold fill liquids. They are innovative because they eliminate many challenges in blister packaging, as listed below, and make packaging easier for variations of vitamins. The last innovator is Clariant, who is a specialty chemicals company using their packaging division to create new solutions. One example is the Aroma Can, which is a canister full of a scent, such as lemon, orange, or vanilla, placed into the packaging. This makes them innovative because they're able to mask the bad smells, insert them efficiently, and keep the packaging the same, but make it stand out from the competitors with the aroma. This shows that they're able to think outside the box and make the customers interact with the product. Now we're going to share our idea. The packaging design is fundamental because it is the communication between the Monster on brand and the vitamin product and the consumer. That being said, it is important to market Modstrom's vitamins as a high quality and luxury good. To appeal to 25 to 55 year old male and females in the middle to upper class range who are health conscious individuals, we created a stand up pouch. Here is our package design. There is a resealable sliding ziplock tab for easy access, a clear bottom that allows you to see the gummies inside, Modstrom's logo, and a QR code that links you to an app that helps you plan and track your supplement needs. On the front label, the vitamin type is displayed along the portion and the dosage per gummy, and on the back label, nutritional content, ingredients, and risk and cautions are provided. This will be a standardized package design where the front and back labels only need to change from vitamin to vitamin. Structural Design The vitamins will be packaged in high-density polyethylene stand-up pouches with calcium oxide lining. This makes it stand out against competitors with traditional vitamin bottles. Lightweight, so it's easy to take on the go or place on a shelf, and it's simple to open and reseal. The package is recyclable, impact puncture and moisture resistant, long-lasting, strong, and resistant to mold, mildew, insects, and rotting. Through our design, we created a high-quality packaging, which consists of a black opaque pouch, transparent bottom, which shows the vitamins and lowers uncertainty in buyers, and a simple gray background pattern. This, this will be a three-color print job, including black, white, and the designated vitamin color. In this case, it's orange for vitamin C. The packaging will have a legible typeface in a large size, so that can be read easily by people of all ages. Our secondary packaging will be packaged in pouches side-by-side side with the box two centimeters higher to ensure there's extra safe space when stacked on top of one another. It protects, preserves, and contains the product together in a cardboard box to ensure there's little to no crushing when stacked.